let's highlight some key points here. Right? We have two sets of parallel lines and uh, we also have a ratio there and another ratio there. Right? So we have two sets of parallel lines and two sets of ratios. Okay, so we are told that we are also told that AH is equal to 48 centimeters. So we have like the following reasons. HF. So we need to determine the length of H of, of HF. Okay? Now if I want to determine the length of HF, right, I already know that AH is equal to 48 and A and HF is part of AH. It means I'm going to need a ratio. Okay, for me to determine the length. So, if AB is equal to 2BC, okay, it means that BC is going to be half of AB. So, AB is going to be equal to, I can call this one 2X, and my BC, I can call it X. Okay, and then I, I also have HD and it is to DC, it's 5 is to 3. So, HD up to here, right? I can call that one 5Y and DC I can call it 3Y, right? Once I do that, I, should, I shouldn't have any problem to, uh, to actually care on, right? So, if I want HF, okay, HF is the length from here up to there. Right? Now, I can use my knowledge, well this is 3 marks, okay? Okay? First step is to identify your triangle that you can use the proportion theory in. So, in triangle A, A, C, H, okay? I can write, because I want H here, remember, I can say H, F, here, I want HF, so I can use one of the corollaries because I know the length of AH. So I can say HF over HF over AH will be equal to it will be equal to HD over HC. And my reason is line parallel to one side of triangle. So what this means is I can now substitute and say HF is the one I want. What is AH? AH is given as 48. My HD over HC right, it's, it's equal to my HD is going to be 5Y and my HC is going to be 8y. But these two will cancel out, so my hf will be equal to 5 times 48, let me put that in brackets, divided by 8, and that will give you 5 times 6, and that will be 30 centimeters. Okay? So that's how you do that question. Okay, you have, to, you, you have to start from the basics of the proportion theorem in order for you to get the full three marks. Okay, even if you know the answer by heart, make sure you show all your working out in order to get all the full marks. About how we can approach it. So, we know that AH, that's 48. We also know that AH is 30. Okay? That's 30. Okay? So if I want to find FG, uh, it, it will be better to try and introduce another constant. Okay? So I can say let FG be equal to K. If FG is equal to K, it means that HG will be 
30 minus k. Alright? What that means is that a, AF is going to be equal to, remember, if, we, if, if HF is equal to 30, it means AF is going to be equal to 18. So that's 18. Okay, now the next thing is for me to identify a triangle that I can use. Okay, to identify a triangle that I can use. So, the triangle which I'm going to choose, now it's, it's very important to be very, very careful when you are choosing that triangle. Like previously, I have chosen AHC based on the question, or ACH. Now, if I want to find the ratio of, sorry, the value of, of FG, okay, if I try to use uh, triangle A, ACH to work, right? If I try to use uh, triangle, let's say triangle okay, ACH won't work there. What that means is I might probably have to use uh, similar triangles. Okay, I can try to use similar triangles to get the answer. Because I, I cannot use triangle FDH, I can't use the that one, right? And I can't use triangle ACH. So my suggestion would be. Okay, let's see. If I use similar triangle, I also have some issues there. So we want this one here. It's a very. I'm going to use uh, ACH, but in a different orientation. This is how I'm going to do it. Make sure you pay attention because it's not very straightforward. So, I'm going to use ACH, but I will say, I'm going to say A, A, B, or rather, I will just say A, B, okay, A, B over A, C, then I will say A, uh, A, G over A, H. So, I'm going to use these two sides, okay, let me get in triangle ACH, I'm going to use this side and obviously that side. Remember, previously I used AH and, and HC. So now I've changed the orientation because of the position of FG. So when you're answering the questions, you also have to, to visualize it. If you don't see it, you are going to have problems. So, let me move on to the next page. So I need FG. So I'm going to say this is 10.2.2. So 10.2.2, I'll, I'll use the same triangle H. Uh, it will be ACH. In that triangle, if I use the proportion theorem, I'm going to say A, A, B, okay, A, B over, uh, over A, C. So it will be A, B over A, C. That must be equal to, that will be equal to A, G over A, H. So that will be equal to A, G over AH. And then my reason line parallel to one side of triangle. Okay? Now, AB, in terms of X, AB is equal to 2X and AC is going to be equal to 3X. So I can write here and say 2X over 3X is equal to. Right? My, 
my AG is equal, it becomes equal to AT plus K. Okay? So I can write here AT plus K. My AH is equal to 48. And these two will cancel out. So I'll end up having 2 over 3 is equal to 18 plus K all over 48. And then I'll cross multiply. So I'll get 96 equal to 54 plus 3K. Then I have to subtract the 54 from 96. I'll get 42 equal to 3K. Divide both sides by 3. I'll get K equal to 14 centimeters. Then I can say therefore FG is equal to 14 centimeters. And then I'm done. Alright, so that's how you would approach the question. EF to ED. Okay, let's go back to our data. So we have EF, that's EF to, this is EF to ED. Okay, we now know what K is, so we can use triangle F, uh, DFH. So that's very simple. But it's two marks, okay? So it's always wise to start from the proportion theory. So I'll say I'll identify my triangle as FDH or DFH, whichever you prefer. So I'll say so 10.2.3 in triangle DF. H. Remember, I need the ratio of EF to ED. And this is a ratio now, it's not written as a common fraction. So, I'm, I'm, if I use my proportion theorem, I will say FE over ED is equal to FG over GH. Okay? So it will be FE over ED. Fe over Ed is equal to is equal to Fg over Gh. Fg over Gh. And my reason line parallel to one side of China. Okay. So. My FE over ED will be equal to FG is equal to 14 and GH is 30 minus 14. So that will give me F, FE, FE over ED will be equal to 14 over 16. So and this I can write this as, as 7 over 8. So my ratio of Fe is to Ed will be equal to 7 is to 8. And then I will do that. But it's too much, so the math allocation it will be allocated as this statement plus the reason one month. So the answer, one more. Okay.